Mr. Vice Rector, I have the honor to present to you Patrice Shlopane Motsepi with a request that you confer on him the degree Doctor of Commerce Honoris Causa. The decision by Council and Senate to award him this degree has been taken on grounds of the following considerations. With exceptional entrepreneurial skill, Mr. Motsepi, founder of mining giant African Rainbow Minerals Limited, has distinguished himself as a businessman of note. Not stopping there, however, this son of Africa is a trailblazer in responsible corporate citizenship, using social investments to improve the lives of the less fortunate. His business accomplishments, accomplishments are vast, including founding Future Mining and later African Rainbow Minerals Gold, a successful merger with Harmony, which ultimately led to a merger with Anglovol Mining Limited. Since 2004, Mr. Mutsepe has been ARM Executive Chairperson, along with holding various directorships and positions on advisory councils and associations. These include SONLAM, the World Economic Forum, International Business Council, the JP Morgan International Council, and the Harvard Global Advisory Council. Dames and heren, Patrice Mutsepe is a bijdrage to the samenleving strek veel verder as sy sakebelange. Die Mutsepe's was die eerste familie in Afrika wat hulle steen toegesê het aan die Giving Pledge, waarmee die magnate Bill Gates en Warren Buffett een uitdaging rug aan die wereldse reik is om aan die armes te gee. Deer ondertekenaars te word, het die Mutsepe familie beloof om die helfte van hun opbrengs van hulle familiebates aan arme mense te skenk. Patrice doen daar die belofte stede dien dier die Mutsepi stichting gestand. Since 2013, 15 million dollars have been allocated to deserving projects. Key areas supported by the Mutsepi Foundation include global research in the field to find a cure for HIV AIDS and cancer, as well as wildlife, nature conservation, and environmental protection. In Africa, they recently backed the fight against Ebola through generous donations to affected countries and to the African Union directly. Locally, a prominent focus on the Foundation's work is education and leadership. Having allocated 1,100 bursaries towards education at 21 universities in South Africa, totaling more than 100 million rand. Mr. Motsepi is equally active supporting sport, music and art, religious and non-governmental non organizations, as well as women's affairs. His achievements have been widely acknowledged by a broad spectrum of stakeholders, notably his peers. In 2002, the chief executives of South Africa's top 100 companies voted him business leader of the year in the same year. He also won the Ernest and Young Best Entrepreneur Award. Meneer de Visie, Rector, ander eerbewijse getuig van meneer Potsepi sy omvangrijke inpak en veelzijdigheid. Soos die WEF-prijs as wereldleier van die toekomst, die Afrikaanse handelinstituut sy MS Low-prijs vir voortreffelike sakeprestaties, die SA Jewish Report sy speciale directieprijs en die BRICS Sakeraad sy toekenning vir uitnemende leierskap. Mr. Vice Rector, Patrice Motsepi is a prime example of the ethical and accountable business and community leadership required to effectively combat poverty, unemployment, illiteracy, and disease. He is worthy of Stellenbosch University's highest honor. Please confer on him the degree Doctor of Commerce Honoris Causa. I hereby confirm on you, Patrice Flopani Maselpi, the degree of commerce, Odoros Causa. Baie, baie rankie oor, waardeer het baie. Professor Skoenwinkel, visierektor, teaching and learning, en professor Kloete, waardeer het baie. Dit is een groot eer vir my om hierdie 
eregraad te ontvang. En uh, al die mense wat teenwoordig is hierdie vandag is, wat teenwoordig is vandag is, een uh, voorbeeld van die prachtige mense wat deel is van ons land en uh, dat is een hele klomp uitdagings en dat sal altyd uitdagings wees, maar uh, hierdie land het uitstekende mense. En dit is ook om ons allemaal vol, vol, vol vertrouwen is dat uh, die toekomst sal tot voordeel van al ons mense goed wees. Uh, I'm going to fumble my way now in English. <laughs> I've just got a few remarks to make. I, I must just say that uh, it's, it's, it's an absolute great honor and uh, this great university has produced some of the most outstanding South Africans, whether they are South African academics or prof professionals or engineers or scientists. Uh, this university has a very proud history. And uh, the 100 years of Stellenbosch University, I think it's uh, a positive sign that it is also a hundred years of a very special South African, Nelson Mandela. We are all celebrating a hundred years of Nelson Mandela. And uh, these two great institutions, this institution called Stellenbosch University, as well as Nelson Mandela, it's uh, very exciting and very coincidental, but also very significant because this country needs to, uh, we need to uphold and adhere to the, the principles and the beliefs of Nelson Mandela, particularly in these times when uh, there are, we've got lots of reasons to be hopeful, but there are also challenges. Uh, we live in a fast changing world and uh, the, the vast technological changes through the fourth industrial revolution, there's discussions about the Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, robotics, nanotechnology, biotechnology, 3D printing. The world as we know it, both in terms of how we used to live, but also in terms of uh, how we do business, is going through uh, a fundamental revolution. And institutions like Stellenbosch and various other institutions in South Africa on the continent have a leadership role to play to ensure that this great institution produces students who've got the expertise, the know-how, the ability to compete in this global world, in this fast-changing global world. And I absolutely have no doubt that, uh, that this university will continue to make, his, make us proud as it has in the past. The last two points I want to raise is uh, I, uh, ha we had a, pre a press conference last week of African Rainbow Minerals and uh, I was asked about the discussions that are taking place in South Africa concerning uh, the expropriation of land and the whole, all of the discussions concerning land. Uh, it was supposed to be a, a meeting about mining but these are very topical issues. And, and the two things I want to say is that uh, I absolutely have no doubt. If you look at the history of South Africa, in 1994, the world said that there is no way that democracy and a bright future for all our people can be introduced. And we've overcome those challenges. That is goeie mense in hierdie land. Beide wit en swart. And uh, the, the, what we have to succeed is to give hope, is to give hope to the poor, give hope to the unemployed, give hope to the landless, and, and particularly focus on those sectors of our, of our economy that feel marginalized. The predominant numbers in that regard are, sort of, are, are black and African. And I always say that I have no future. My wife and children have no future. If we do not succeed to create a future for all our people, in particular those that are, that are poor, those that are marginalized. And we have to create a future that involves all our people, blacks, young women. And, uh, and also we have a duty to 
white South Africans, particularly those who are uncertain and insecure and fearful about what the expropriation entails. And, and I am absolutely confident, absolutely confident, that we will succeed. We will succeed to make sure that there's a bright future for black South Africans because it's absolutely important. And the black people must be part of the future of this country. And we will succeed to make sure that the white farmers, those other South Africans who are uncertain and insecure about what uh, the discussions on expropriation may entail. We will follow the constitution, we will follow the law, and uh, we will succeed as we have in the past. This country has a bright future. And uh, I want to once more thank the university, thank my beautiful wife and my son and my family, and to say that uh, we will create the best place in the world for all our people, black and white. Thank you so much.